And so I've just got two questions today to ask of this simple passage. All right, how many of you are with me? Wave at me today. Amen. Number one, first of all, what keeps us from getting out of the boat? Fear. Fear is what stops us. Last December, we had the most amazing missionaries with us, Will and Angela Lester, on their way to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ in Iraq. Imagine that, in Iraq. Let me tell you something. To me, those guys are modern-day water walkers. Hello? I, I mean, risking everything for the call of Jesus Christ, taking their four boys. By the way, she had her baby. Everything is fine. Amen. Uh, we're taking their four boys out and, and going across cross to the other side of the world, how many of you think they deserve our support? Amen? And I'm going to tell you that you and I, we're going to stand alongside of people like that at the judgment seat of Christ, right? And I'll tell you, I don't want to be one of those guys who was afraid to get out of the boat. I don't want to be one of those guys who took my talent and hid it in the ground and was afraid to, to do what God asked me to do with it. Come on. I want to be one of those guys who went for it. Come on. I want to be a Peter. I want to jump out of the boat and see if I can walk on water. And some people say, well, pastor, you better be careful because you could sink. Come on. I might sink, but I'm going to tell you something. If I sink, I'm going to call out to Jesus. Hello? And he's going to help us. Come on. He's going to help us. But fear is what keeps us from falling fully trusting God and experiencing us what God wants. And how interesting that all the way through the Word, God encourages us to have faith over fear. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you everywhere that you go. Amen. Isaiah 41 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. Amen. 2 Timothy 1, 7 says this, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. It's time that we get rid of all fear and start walking in faith. Do I have a witness in the house? We got to believe God. Actually, many, many years ago, I was in this building before we had occupancy, the sheetrock was on the wall, and I stood about right over here at the end of the platform, and I was in here praying one day. Nobody else was around, and there was no carpet on the floor. There wasn't any ceiling tiles or lights, just some sheetrock on the wall. And, and uh, as I stood there, fear began to grip my soul. Because this church needed about $60,000 to continue to fund that effort that we were making in building this building. And I remember standing there and it was like the devil came right up to me and he said, "This, you're not going to, where do you think you're going to get $60,000? Who do you think you are? You're leading these people down a road. There, it's not going to happen. And I remember standing right there and feeling that fear cry to get on me. And all of a sudden, a spirit of praise, I raised the hallelujah, amen. I started saying devil. Devil, you're a liar. That is not going to happen in the mighty name of Jesus. God's going to come through. And did you know something? In one week, one weekend, this church raised $57,000. Come on, I'm just here today to tell you that my God is a big God. It's time we get out on the water and we believe the Lord. Amen. I remember Sister Comfort saying, you know, Pastor Bob, we're going to have to have a, we want to have a women's conference. I was thinking to myself, man, how's that all going to work? How, where are we going to get the ladies for that? I, I was kind of, oh, well, let's just, let's, let's get out on the water and try it. Well, let me tell you, that conference turned out to be a wonderful blessing to the ladies of our church. Come on, I say that it's time that we step out on the water. Many of us are reluctant to step into unfamiliar territory for fear that we will fall. We're afraid we may look foolish. We fear that our commitment will, will be too demanding on our lives. We fear that things won't work out. The 11 stayed in the boat because they were afraid that they were drowned. All they wanted Jesus was to do was to comfort them and to calm the storm. But what about you? What is it that you want would do for Jesus if you weren't afraid? Good question, huh? 
What would you pray if you weren't afraid at all? Well, who would you talk to? What would you do? What would your level of giving be? Uh, when you hear of the ministries of our church, what do you think that you would do if you knew that you could just step out on faith and walk on the water? Years ago, there's a, there was a man by the name of Henry Nowen. He was a spiritual writer and a theologian. and He happened to make friends with some trapeze artists called the Rodleys, all right? And he was fascinated by these guys. You know, they would swing in, in the circus, and, you know, one of the guys would let go, go flying through the air. And, 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 you know, and so he had a, a conversation with, with the main flyer, and he said this. He said, as a flyer, I must have complete trust in my catcher. The public may think that I'm the great star of the trapeze, but the real star is Joe, my catcher. He has to be there for me and grab me out of the air as I come to him in the long jump. The flyer does nothing. I simply stretch out my arms and hands and wait for him to catch me and pull me safely. The fire flyer must trust the outstretched arms that his catcher will be there for him. How many of you see the spiritual analogy to that. Come on. I say it's time that we just stretch out our arms, that we take that leap of faith, and we can be assured of one thing. Our God will not let us down. Our God is faithful. Our God is powerful. And He's looking for men and women of faith like you and me to trust God and to believe. Amen. Do I have any believers in the house?